Howdy folks. Thursdays, I think we're gonna to try to do new tool day on Thursdays and do the regular programming on Mondays. This is Thursday, so new tool. About a month and a half ago, I got this Jealous in, and it's a nice orbital uh, sander, dual action, and has the handle and some features. Really loved it, and I liked it so much that I got rid of my Ryobi. Uh, the Ryobi oscillating uh, orbital sander was just you know, you couldn't control it. You're only able to hold it here. It was getting away from me. Anyways, this is an awesome tool. But I was talking to Jealous, and guess what they sent over to me? They said, here, try one of these, see if you like it. The detail sander, which is really the only other step I would use. In this case, I've got like an antique desk I'm being sanding on a little bit, and I'm going to be working on it for a while. And the orbital does great on the large areas but for the detail stuff you need something a little smaller you can get into all the little cracks and crevices with this is the baby so jealous that it's over and it looks like it's going to be like the other products probably going to be awesome i'm going to open the box and uh, then we're going to get a piece of lumber and start sanding a little bit and just see how this bad boy works i'm already looking forward to i have a feeling this is an, an excellent another excellent product from them they only seem to do a lot of different sanding type machines and, and you know hand powered tool sanders and stuff. So to me that says a lot right there. It's not like Black and Decker where they made drills and they made toasters. Yeah, I'm still I still laugh about that whenever I think about Black and Decker coming out with a toaster. <laughs> but anyway, let's check this bad boy out and Later on, we'll probably have a nice link to uh, where you can purchase this, uh, order this off Amazon. The company's based out of Germany, as I recall, and the uh, product so far from everything that's been coming out of there has been absolutely amazing. So, good stuff. Let's get the box open and we can get into this. So, like they always do, we do the open box thing, but um, we've got 12 pieces of sandpaper, four pieces of finger sandpaper, uh, up to 13,000 RPM. Wow. Padded base sized. Yep. And voltage, of course, be 120 for good old US of A. So let's let's get into her. Let's get this bad boy open. Man, I tell you, this is this is the sort of thing that I guess excites me a little bit because it's nice to get not only a new tool, but it's not an expensive tool, certainly not compared to uh, <coughs> table saws and other little goodies. But uh, this one here. It's got some, again, some of that typical uh, features. Nicely packaged, like always. Expect nothing but, but the best from this gang. <laughs> this is going to be a trip. Oh yeah, and I can see it already. Once again, fellas, hey, a company that gives you, look at the cord on this bad boy. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to go running around looking for an extension cord to use this thing, so. And there's the little finger sandpaper they were talking about. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. Has that same kind of uh, blackened uh, battleship gray finish. I like it already. This one is an unusual piece, too. Uh, I've got to show this to you immediately because this, is, this was one of the things that caught my eye was they've got this big sort of dust collection system back here to uh, catch a lot of the stuff. They also got a little protector here to, you know, one for in shipping or whatever. And it's got that nice, uh, oh yeah, nice grab on that thing, hook and loop. And of course, we also have a little, uh, some, this is for your uh, finger sandpaper. So that will allow you to use that uh, little strips for like really close up detail. So this thing has multiple uses for the application. We also have a huge stack, nice stack of, of 80 grit. Yeah, I think it's assorted, let's find out. Get the knife quick and see what we got here because, uh, yeah, get this open. Open! And we've got, let's see, yeah, okay, here we go. Are we ready? Sure we're ready. And also, uh, they've also set this up so you can tear off a piece and use just this part of the front of the sander. And again, uh, using the uh, finger here, you can shut this down to where you're only using the triangle or using the finger. So like I say, this is a real detail sander. It's, it's the real thing, you know, and let me just plop that on there. Line up the holes would help because that allows the sander to uh, kick the stuff back. 
I don't know how much sand sanding uh, we're going to get, you know, in the air, but it's supposed to collect back here a lot of it. That's going to be kind of interesting to see how that works. Now look at the grip on this thing. That's a nice big grip. If you have large hands, you'll really like this machine. <laughs> and again, the nice positive stop start button. Yeah, and it already it feels good, nice balanced. I will bet you it runs smooth. And a little protector for the plug, cool. And of course we've got the usual black windy, windy thing here to keep all the cable nice and collected. And some instructions, and also I think we get, I bet you we get, oh we get a warranty card of course, very nice. Yep, always good to have a warranty with a tool, although I have to admit in my lifetime I guess I've only ever really uh, claimed one warranty to one tool. So this this is something that I really don't, you know, take, I just sort of take it for granted. I, I don't get, you know, too uh, involved with it, but yep, there it is. And the, look at this great big long cord which comes with the sander. So yeah, let's go find a piece of wood and start sanding on it and just see how it works. Yeah, this is a bit of an unconventional setup here, but I'm just trying to clamp this down a little bit. I've got a piece of pine with a little bit of paint on it and that way you know you can see that I'm actually sanding it. Here's the uh, brand new from Jealous uh, detail sander and it comes with some interesting features. We're just going to start with the big piece of paper here and just, just run it. And I can tell you it's everything that I expected that it would be because it's, well, it's taking the paint off, of course. But I'm not seeing any real dust to speak of. So I'm, I guess I'm wondering, I can see there's some sanding dust and white paint back here already in the filter system. So that is really, really cool. But let's take a look at some of the real detail sanding that you can get from the Jealous. Jealous comes with a nice manual to show you how to use some of these accessories and get into these other smaller detail type uh, sanding paper configurations on the machine so you can get into some really tight tight spots and the uh, manuals pretty light uh, it's you know not a lot of pages or whatever but it will show you how to uh, for instance ins install this so that it uh, can be put on the, the front of the sander, like this kind of idea. Start again. So we're over at the bench now here, looking at the uh, gels. I've taken the sandpaper back off because I'm going to show you how to convert to one of these uh, finger type sandpapers. And also note the features because you can uh, take this piece off with one screw and we'll just unscrew it. It'll only take uh, you know, a second to remove the front here. There we go. And it comes out like this. Oh, there's where it sucks up the uh, dust through. That's pretty cool. Now, this plugs in the front here. And we'll screw, let's see if we can line that up just right. There we go. It snaps, sort of snaps into place a little bit. And beautiful. And then we've got the one little screw that will go up in here. And then you can put your finger sandpaper here and you now have a really fine detail machine that will get into really tight small places wherever you're sanding if you're doing you know some fine furniture or uh, anything that has kind of a you know shape or groove to it or something you can get in there with this and they give you uh, four pieces of that to start with now the other thing you can do is you can also uh, their sandpaper comes with this now unfortunately uh, I don't know how hard it would be to buy this at the store like this, but you can tear this piece off and use have just a triangle piece set up here and again just for fine detail type sanding. So it, this is a this is a one of the things that I really believe with with Jealous they they add these little features that you know other machines don't have. Let's see if we can get that back in there now. Mm-hmm. They add these features to this to their machines, and like I said, it's it's a company that 
I'm going to show the website here for a second. They sell sanding equipment, sand, sand, you know, sanding machines, uh, power sanding machines. So, you know, that's what their sort of like specialization is. So, if you're buying something from them, you know you're buying it from a company that's serious about what they're doing for product. Now, this is the other part here, which is of course has a nice little catch box back here. So let's talk about the dust collection situation here. And uh, yes, I had to read the, the, the destructions in order to figure this one out. But basically, you're going to arm wrestle with this and pull it off the back. And it's not going to come off easily, which is a good thing. There we go. Ah, yeah. And also, this is going to be pulled, but you're going to pull this off the bottom. See if we can get it. There we go. And get this all opened up so you guys can see it. Here's the uh, dust collection area for the sanding and actually I just did that little bit of sanding you can see all the stuff was collected in here and it got a little filter in here which breathes out through the back side here. This goes together tight but there's a good reason for it. I mean I like tight you know it, it, it works good. So let's put this back together and have her ready to rock and roll again. But it snaps together, and then of course you have a O-ring right here to help seal it really good. Might want to put a little uh, lithium grease on there at some point or something to help it go on and off easier. But really, there you go, it snaps back on, and everything is collected back here. So when I just sanded, the first thing I noticed was there was no weird smoke of dust or anything rising from the machine. So that's really good. Long cord, and again, it has a really nice. Uh, you know, just watch my hand or whatever. There's almost no vibration up through the handle here. So you're not going to get that weird uh, vibration thing where after you shut the machine off, your hands are still doing this for about a half an hour or something. So it's got really good construction and excellent quality all the way around. I like the hook and loop they have on this particular machine. And also I like this feature. This. This in itself is just, this is a really cool idea. I really love this. You can switch that out and have that on the front instead. And also, when you're storing it, you can, you know, put this in here and store it in your tools. So your hook and loop, especially the point area here, is not sitting down on something. So it would help for storage, I'm sure. The other thing is this. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the sandpaper here. If you can't get, uh, this type of finger sandpaper easily you know yourself you can take hook and loop sandpaper and you know just cut a finger size out and stick it to this down the road but i know you can order this over online you can order the finger paper anyways but just saying you know and all it takes is a number two phillips to remove this uh, screw here and don't over tighten there's no no need to it's a 120 volt machine got a really long cord and again I don't know how long this cord was I didn't measure it but it's that's got to be about I'm gonna say 8 to 10 feet of cord on this machine right now let's see if they say anything in the instructions about that but really simple uh, look at the pages of instructions here got one two three four pages so it's it's a simple easy enough machine to understand and use and it's the jealous detail sander it's the Ryobi uh, detail sander that I have is also, I guess, going out the door. Don't need it. Not when you've got, when you've got equipment like this around, I don't need that Ryobi. I just don't need the, the aggravation with it. And these are all the items that it comes with. So when you get your box, check your box, make sure you have everything, which, you know, you will. I'm sure you will. The on off switch is very positive. Uh, I sort of like that idea because it's a lot it's a lot more sure that you just hit it with your finger and shut it off turn it on or shut it off whichever you need to do uh, they also show some tricks with you know removing and putting on the hook and loop which is kind of important to make the machine last longer the uh, this assembly here is tight but it should be tight by the nature because it is collecting all that dust for you. So it really keeps the dust down, which is in a certain environments and certain shops, that might be something that you really want to consider. And I'm going to tell you right now, yeah, this is not the cheapest sander you can buy on the market. This is not Harbor Freight stuff, you know. This is a good quality company, good quality tools. So 
that's why I'm mentioning it today to you, because I want you to see this detail sander as being a quality tool that you can buy that's gonna last you a very long time and gives you a lot of features and options and it comes with a lot of sandpaper, so pretty happy with all the, uh, I got 12 sheets of this and four sheets here of this, so you really do get what you need. And then this is all 80 grit, 120, 120, 240. So there's all your, yeah, there's your three basic grits of sandpaper. That's what I live with right there. <laughs> Mostly 80, 120, and 240. If I have to go to 60 or something like that, it's because I have really got myself into a problem. So there's the Jealous uh, Detail Sander and another great machine from Jealous. They make some darn good stuff. I'm gonna provide a link in the description below so you can go shop this bad boy out for yourself. Price-wise, I don't really care that much myself because it's a good working tool. It's an excellent tool. I love the long cord and the features. So to me, that's worth, you know, what is it Visa commercial used to say? Priceless, you know, and these are two of the jealous families right here we might be getting some more stuff in i really don't know monday we got some projects coming up and of course i think we have some more giveaway stuff coming up too but uh, just uh thursdays we're going to try to do new new tool tool days so like next thursday we'll have another new tool to show you hey thanks for watching coffee and tools please like share subscribe and adios <laughs>